show you today is how to properly put a seat cover onto a straightener. That's the channel mount method. Um, that's, that's used on the majority of the tees. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do when you get your springs is you're going to want to paint it. Um, typically it's just the black, but that will help you to um, prevent ruts. I mean, it won't 100% prevent it, but um, for a much longer time, you won't have to deal with the rust in the springs and your springs will last longer. Uh, the first thing you want to do when you, when, uh, uh, after, you, after you paint it, is you're going to want to take this canvas um, burlap that I supply you with um, when you buy your seat covers. You're going to want to hog ring this all the way around. And what this does is this makes it so that um, all the cotton that we put on here, it doesn't sink into the springs like that. That way, 20 years down the road, your seat is still puffy. You don't, you, it's not going to sink down in here and have flat spots then. <laughs> So if I could get an assistant layer of the top of this all the way around, and we're going to want to do it nice and tight, that, because if it's loose, then it'll have all that void for the cotton to sink into, and then your cover will be flat in a few years. You don't want it to be flat, so this is a very important step. And I just kind of evenly get it all the way around. So just start on one side. Yeah. Are you able to do that? Okay. Um, well, what, all you got to do between them is about this distance there, I'd say, what is that, two and a half inches? So just work your way right along there, and then I'll go on the other side and pull it tight as you go. Thank you. You got it? That works? That works. Gary's going to do the next one all by himself. Yeah. <laughs> and if I goof this up, it's my seat, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> I can't blame somebody else now. <laughs> so you just hovering it tightly all the way around. Oh yeah. It's what he's gonna win. <laughs> yeah, I've done this a few times before. Yeah, this is only Mike's second seat to do. But, yeah. You know, Gary's first, Mike's second. We have a winner. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. All right, and then you'll want to work your way across all of this. And then as you go, I'll do the other side. Pull it tight. Take this, and you want it to go over the edges 
here on all sides. And that's gonna, that's gonna protect it from having any extra rubbing that would rub on the cover there. You want it, yep, you just pull it apart like that. And you wanna save this just in case you have any place towards the end that you wanna stuff that in to make it fuller. Yeah. Make sure that it's going over the edge on all sides. And then we take our cover here. And your cover will come already with the buttons and everything all installed. You don't have to do anything with the buttons. And what we, what we look for here now is which side is the front. So then you find the front of your spring, just line it up like that. <laughs> then now for sliding it on, you want to start in one corner and you want to make sure to roll it so that this bead comes out correctly. If you don't roll it, it's going to be tucked in. It's going to want to sit tucked in like that. It's going to look ugly in the corners. So you start in one corner and you work your way around. You've got to be sure to roll it. Okay, and then we flip it. Still got it on there and centered. <coughs> so then I just feel on the sides to make sure that it's centered still. And then we want to take these and we'll start the compression of the spring. I will need some help with this, yep. on a wooden table. We're trying it on a plastic table for the first time today, so hopefully it might be a little louder. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're, we're putting these two by fours on here to compress the spring. You have to compress it for the cover to get on, otherwise um, it's, it's, it's not going to be on there correctly. going to end up being like that in the very end and you don't want it to be. Now we do have this extra material here. I like that because then we can wrap this here and that will actually help save our corners later on. Uh, 20, 30 years down the road, we're not going to lose all that cotton. The corners will still stay full. So I like to take it and I like to wrap it like that. Hmm? Um, I, I guess I could try and get a little louder. Okay. All right. So I'll, I'll, what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm tucking the canvas burlap here around the cotton and uh, that's going to hold it in place here so that it doesn't fall out years down the road. And then I'm also checking to make sure my cover is centered as we continue to, uh, to compress the springs. So we got a long way to go on compressing the springs though, because they gotta be compressed quite a way. Yep. We do have the wrenches here that get us tough to push them down. Got 
is to just slide that in there and close the channel so that it holds it shut. Um, you just want to pinch the edge of it so that it's shut. If you just totally um, press it all together, it's still going to be open and it'll slide right out. So you just close it at the edge. I've got a couple tools that I use for that. Um, they're basically just like a channel locks or um, vice grips here. And we've got a little flat piece of metal just welded on there. And that makes it so that we can cover a little bit more ground faster than just doing a little quarter inch strip at a time all the way around. Saves a little bit of time. So uh, what we'll want to do first is we start in the front middle here. And we slide into place. And uh, do you want to close it for me? Sure. All right. All you got to do is put it on there. And then you have this to the edge there. You just crimp it closed it's not when I have it in there. Pain, is it? Well, I actually got the spring it will a little bit, but if you want to touch it up with paint after, no, go ahead. Just give it a squeeze. All right, got it? Then you get a little bit more. You want to slide it in? I don't have the guns that you've got. <laughs> so you just pinch it like that, and then um, I just do the front center, and then I go to the corners. And uh, the reason for doing that is because if we just slid to the side, and if we just slid to the side and continue crimping it like that, the, the cover can stretch and be twisted then. So since we already know that it's centered from feeling it before, we're just going to hit the corners in the front and rear, and that way it'll stay centered on it. Can we get in there? Yeah, just anywhere in there. Coming when you're ready. You want to put it out a little further. There you go. Ready? Yep. Go ahead. You're good. That one's all done. Do that one perfect. <laughs> all right. This corner. All right. All set. There you go. Let me get a little tighter. And then we're going to do a couple spots in the front still, too. Now, when I, when I do the rest of these areas, I just cut each area in half and do it in the middle. There you go. Close up. to just close it and not to be twisting it over. Because if you twist it over, it'll release from the coil springs and you'll wreck your spring. So then we'll go to the back corners here. There you go. Just close it up. All right, that's good. Yep, that's just fine. And then we'll hit this one. Everybody's going to want you to do their seat after this. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be a busy guy. Oh, you want to get it on there a little different here. Leap over the top a little bit more. There you go. <coughs> All right, that's good. Yep. You're in there now. So then now, 
in the back, we have the cord sticking out. And the reason for that is so that as we get further down the line, we can pull this and it sucks it in. It sucks in your cover so that it'll have a nice look like that instead of being all baggy. So I'll tighten that up a little bit and then we'll close it back here by these so that we have it closed up in the back. Yeah, just a second. Are you prepping the strings yep. inside that? Yes, ma'am. Yep. Just put that string in there. Yep, that's good. Pardon me? I like Brady, huh? <laughs> yeah. Great. Now we're just going to cut each area in half as we go. Um, We'll do a little bit in the, in the front more to start out because uh, back here is what we'll do last. So, come up here and crimp it yet. Um, when you crimp it, uh, I'm just cutting each area in half. But that between, way, between crimps, how much? Oh, you're going to want the whole thing crimped all the way around. Okay. The entire thing is going to have to be crimped for it to hold it in. But we cut each area in half <coughs> so that it doesn't pull the cover in any direction and it's not twisted that way. So you will go back in between those and just do it Yes. Yep. Okay. yep. They will all be, it will be closed the whole way. Yep. Now, um, there's some spots where it's going to be tough to push it in there. What I like to use is a really old dull screwdriver. It's the easiest way to just push the tough spots in there where it's doubled up material. So you can go ahead and close that spot there. And we'll close quite a thread as you go ahead. Perfect. You got it. And we'll hit this side. Somebody that doesn't have arms on them like Mike does, 
having these a little longer might help too. Um, I do have some vice grip ones if you'd like to use these ones. I haven't tried them. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Those ones are brand new. So then I'm pulling on the strings as I go to tighten it all up in here. And then you want to continually to wrap the cotton with that canvas burlap in there so that it all stays in place as you go. And then we'll hit this side. So this is basically a two-man job. It could be a one-person job, but you're going to struggle with it if you're doing it all by yourself. for that is because um, if things are just sitting around like covers like this and they're folded up and stuff they could get creases and stuff in them and I do not want to send out anything that's flawed like that. What's your turnaround? Um, right now it's our busiest time of the year so actually we're we're booked into July but um, typically if we order in the fall or the winter um, it's a two week or less uh, wait. You have to send the spring sizes. Uh, no, I just, I just, all I'll have to know, whoops, you're not getting it, you're pushing it the wrong way, let me get this one. Um, no, um, as, as long as you um, let me know what gear and body style your car is, if you have the correct springs, I, I have all the information I need for them, because I have the original pattern. And just so you know, I ordered this kit over two years ago, so it's been in our spare bedroom, so just keep it good and flat. Just make an out and keep it flat. Alright. So if you want it installed, it's going to take about that long for you to get it installed. Give <laughs> <laughs> your help. Yeah, if I'm helping, it might be three years. Alright. So then we'll get these spots back here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be doing yours next. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you hear the price. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get it done. This is a show special. I'm serious. I want it done. Hey, Mike, you heard that. She doesn't care about the no, price. Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Can I hire yeah, you this afternoon? Yeah, that is good. Can I hire you this afternoon, Mike? Maybe. I want it done. I brought my checkbook with me. You did? Yeah. Oh, wow. I could probably help you out. Okay. Yeah. I'm I already think, down here. So I think his people can uh, talk with your people. Yeah. 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 And pay for your gas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't make enough money to have my people. It's just me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got Gary going for $25 a squeeze there. Yeah. I love the way you think. $25 a squeeze. There goes all of this year's profit. Huh? No, wait a minute, Gary. You told me that because you only have one good hand, it's like twelve fifty. dollars so Okay, I'm working <laughs> half price today. <laughs> Wow. I've been waiting how many years? <laughs> Today's special, half price. Now I know whose side you're on. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Do you know how to do it now? Once in there. Do you have those wedges? Do you see the wood? Tighten this up. You did perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I could I couldn't have done that one better yeah. myself. Yeah. <laughs> Moving right along. Thank you though. I just want to get up close so I can Okay. Slide that one in there. <clears throat> okay. Make sure it's tight all the way. So now that we've crimped up into these areas that have uh, just little gaps in there, we're going to go all the way around now and tighten it all the way around. So, wherever you want to start going, I'll use this one. Okay. 
just don't go over where the cords are coming out. That's our very last spot. The last part that we crimp is in the very back where the strings are hanging out. The rest of it we do all before that. Cindy, is your garage air conditioned? Uh, well, we can make it air conditioned. <laughs> All right. I hope so. The frame will have to raise the price for some. <laughs> Anything you need? Okay. We can take care of it. Ice cream? Yeah, I, I work cream? for ice cream. You ice cream? You know how I am. Yeah, Gary has to have his ice cream. Yeah, so. <laughs> No, these are brand new, so I haven't tried them yet. Yeah. Maybe you can see that throw them against the wall a couple of times. I haven't got to rate them much better. Do you want me to give you the wall a couple of times? Yeah. Do you want me to give you these and you do it so you can sure. faster? Yeah. Sure. Do you want me to finish more of them? Okay. Oh, that's one way to get out of the carry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're not giving you a break, Halter. Evidently yeah, not. What do you got to do next? Nice to meet you. Well, I guess we're going to another one of these seats later. Are we now? What, what now? Oh yeah, this is this is the channel, and your spring should come with this, and it goes all the way around. And this is this is what we call channel mounting. This is actually the way that they were done originally. They were channel mounted. Um, when, you see, um, when you see them hog and stuff and they have this channel, it's usually hog because the channel is worn out and it's been reupholstered. What did they make this out of? What did they make that out of? There's your crimp. Yeah, there, there, there was plenty of room for improvement. It went a lot of these old designs. It the last one. Right? Yeah, that too. All I'm doing is just closing it all the way around. So if you have old springs, same thing? Or? Um, if, the chan if, the ch if it has the channel and the channel is still usable, I highly recommend that you go with the, ch the channel mount. Um, if, if, they're, if the channel's wore out, um, then you want to hot ring it. And I'll supply you with all the hot rings and you basically hot ring it to the spring. But as far as I know, all uh, Snyder's new springs for all the cars that I believe are uh, 14 and up are coming with uh, the channel on here. The earlier ones, um, a lot of those you, you have to hot ring or else there's a little race. Yeah, that's even a
fluid, if you were able to see, um, as it decompresses, all this fills up since we've wrapped the cotton and everything. Um, if we didn't wrap it, I mean, it would come out a little bit, but it, it would end up having an empty void. It wouldn't be tight like this. Um, there's all this cotton now that's been wrapped, and it's, it's kind of stuck in place. That way it'll keep its shape. shut the parts that the boards were over. And as you go, you just got to make sure that that cord is in that channel as you close it, because that's what it's gripping onto so that it stays on. One of the things that Mike and I were talking about this morning is uh, this was in the back of my truck. Um, so it was cool last evening because it set outside. And I asked him if he wanted me to get it out and let it be in the sun. And he told me no. And I'm going to let him tell you why. You're going to, after, after you put a seat cover on, or even the tops, um, you, you don't want to have them in the heat before it. But um, after you're done, it's great to let it sit out in the sun for even a day or two. Because what will happen when it gets hot from the sun is all this material will loosen up just a little bit because of the heat. And then when it cools, it'll tighten up. So any little wrinkles, like maybe this little bit here and this here, this will tighten up and those will shrink and basically go away. Nice little trick and help from the sun. But I would have thought being hot would have been better. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, I mean, like for when you're putting it on, of course, room temperature is great. Being in the 70s there. Uh, in Minnesota, we have to use heat to get there, but yeah, definitely, it's okay to have it at room temperature when you do it, but yeah, you don't want to overheat it before you do it, because then it's going to be extra loose, and then when it tightens up, it's going to get too tight. takes up a lot of the space, but um, I mean, even on even on the the newer ones like the 2627s, um, I mean, you, you 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 do end up attaching it to the wood tack rail at the bottom, and then of course your tack rail at the very top. So instead of being attached to the spring, your backrest is actually attached to the car. There's no channels in the spring. Um, there are not. Um, on some of the Model A's, there are like uh, the Roadsters and stuff. Those ones do, the closed cab pickups do, um, but uh, primarily on the Model T's, it's just the seat cushions that go this way. Now, um, after you do it, sometimes you'll find that you might have a little bit of a shallow corner like that, and that's what I save the cotton for, is for tucking in there for when that happens. And I just use my old dull screwdriver to push it in there. Yes, yep. Yeah, because we, we don't want this to have an empty collapsing corner 20, 10 or 20 years down the road. That, that would look terrible. So we want to get the cotton in there and you want to get it up in there where the edge wire is that you can feel on the spring there because that's going to hold it in there along with the canvas backing. Yeah, that's what I was saying here. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's going to have a hole on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Never? It's a pretty dull screwdriver. <laughs> here, let me try it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it on Brent and Cindy's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Practice. Really yeah. probably good. You like to do everything real hard. <laughs> 
I mean, you don't have to use a screwdriver. You could use like a paint stir stick or something yeah, also. Just stuff. Yep. Ice pick. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Stick knives. <laughs> and then just make sure to tuck the cotton afterwards. And the burlap there. Uh, this one has a little bit too. Mike, you also have videos online. Though. I do. On our website, we have um, we have lots of installation videos. We also do on YouTube and on our Facebook site. And uh, we're constantly adding more videos. So I mean, if, if you haven't checked there in a few months, there's probably a video or two that you haven't seen. Especially in the summer, that's when uh, that's when I'm able to get some help to be able to record some of the videos. It's going to look awful nice in my picture. <laughs> well, that's amazing you have one like mine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what year is yours? 27. It's all my years. That's it. We can also, you, it out. Yeah. also, you can follow Mike on Facebook also. Yep. We do have a Facebook page also. We are on Instagram, just started that. So then, so you can see from the inside, this is how it's wrapped and tucked in there. That way all of this, um, I mean, 10, 20 years down the road, you're not going to lose any of your sides there with all the pads. Um, this side just come out a little bit, but that will stay in place there now too. So that's it, voila. Um, on most of your Model T's, the buttons are going to be towards the front, so if you're having any confusion what's the front, typically the buttons go towards the front. <coughs> any questions? Yeah. Yes. Is there a the front of the Pardon me? On the back rest? On the backrest? Is there a way to press that On those T's, you really don't have to compress them um, hardly at all, because the backrest is just going over it. It's just sitting there in place, because the backrest um, isn't, isn't attached to the spring, so it's not adding much pressure to the spring. That's why we give you a lot of extra pad to put in there, so it does put some pressure on it. But um, your, your backrest is going to be tacked at the bottom first, and then when you pull over the top, you're going to tack it along the tack rail there. And um, that, just that just that hand uh, strength of, of pulling it over, that should be enough compression for it. Okay. Anything else? You want to use a tool to pull it back over the top of the, uh, where you're putting the backrest on. You want to use a tool to pull it over? You, you can. There, there are gripper tools that you can use where it's got a handle and it's got a big gripping space to pull on there. Um, I just use my hands, but I mean, yeah, you can definitely use that. And we supply you with way more material than you need. So you have a good two inches at least to grab onto for pulling that over. Yeah. Now, how about doing or reattaching one? So your tack strip is haywire and you got to put in a new tack strip. Um, if you uh, reattach re the old uh, seat to it. And that's very, very tough to do. Um, depending on how long ago it was put in, because um, as, as your upholstery sits in your car, it kind of settles and forms to your car. Like uh, the sitting out in the heat and cooling, it kind of fills and forms to your car. Like uh, if you did put this in and there was a little gap somewhere in here where it was not reaching the back, the backrest where it wrapped around all the way, um, just letting it sit out in the sun a few days like that, it settles, it settles into place like that. Um, same, same thing with the bead on here. If, if your bead is crooked in a little bit of a spot, like it is a little bit there, as this gets used and it's sitting out in the sun, that's gonna straighten right out. Any other questions for Mike? Yes. Yes, I'll be out there in just a couple minutes. Uh, Mike also has his booth, which is just out the door and down Number to the 10. left. Number 10. Space Number 10. 10. Yep. Number 10. Okay, and do you have, do you have your cards I do have cards out there. There is a diamond tufted seat sitting out there that's been channel mounted just like this. And there's also a 29 Roadster uh, seat cushion that's been channel mounted like this. So you can check them both out. That's your Model T vinyl? Yes, this, this would be the Model T vinyl. Any other questions? Well, Mike, thank you so much.